Live look from Bothell this morning where police are trying to find whomever is responsible for a shooting outside of a local church. q 13 John Hopperstad telling us how the victims are doing this morning. We are also seeing a record number of people already getting out and voting, showing you how many people have already cast those ballots. And in about 15 minutes, Q13's Omar Lewis pre previewing an announcement from Seattle's interim police chief after we saw another round of demonstrations this weekend downtown. This is Q13 News This Morning. Good to have you here on this Monday. I'm Bill Wixey. I'm Liz DeWicky, tracking some of it a quiet, pretty morning out there, MJ. Hi. Yeah, you know, not bad. You can see some clear skies over Lake Washington. Sun coming up not too long. Uh, 55 degrees right now. Winds are not that big a deal. I love how we can see the light here at South uh, Lake Washington. I was talking to Adam. He thinks it's the Boeing plant down there showing up very clearly. A little bit of an arc in the cloud cover off show. Sure, we've got this flow toward us kind of from the northwest. This is going to keep us cloudy with a chance of showers and cool us down a bit. But wait, you see the end of the week, much, much cooler. And uh, the word the Weather Service used was dreary. <laughs> so get ready for some more dreary weather. We barely saw the sun over the weekend, right? And we've got these light showers around, primarily in the mountains, but a little bit on I-5, maybe Seattle southward a little bit. So mostly cloudy today slash dreary, chance of a few showers, and really getting colder this week. I'll track that for you in just a bit. Right now, Adam, what are you seeing? Some problems in the south end? Well, at this point, it's just a lot of heavy, heavy volume we see for drivers on north of the Valley Freeway trying to get out of Puyallup and through Sumner, Pacific, Algona. That all just kind of continues to crowd for us. We watch North 405 tougher in the Renton curves. Another sticking spot, but really, our story this morning is the Valley Freeway northbound and I-5 out of Tacoma from 16 getting in towards the dome. Those are the hot spots we really need to be watching out for yet. Guys, back over to you. Thank you. Just into the newsroom, the U.S. Supreme Court has just agreed to review the Trump administration's policy where they are making folks who are trying to come into the U.S. and seek asylum over the Mexican border stay in Mexico. Uh, since this is, uh, you know, actually, you know, coming right now, there is a full docket right now on their schedule, so they won't hear it this year. It'll be 2021 before they hear this case, but that's the thing. I mean, will it actually be heard or not? If the president is reelected, could be the first major challenge to one of his big policies. If he is not and Joe Biden is elected, well, this policy is probably going to go away and the case will be moot. Back to you. Travis, thanks. Deputies in Snohomish County searching this morning for the suspect who shot two people in a church parking lot. The two victims we know recovering at the hospital. Q13's John Hopper said is more from the church where several people were gathering when someone opened fire. Hi, John. Hi, Liz. Yeah, here at Gold Creek Church, kind of near Mill Creek in unincorporated Snohomish County. Talking to neighbors this morning, they say that this is such a large building and parking lot that there are a lot of gatherings outside here during the days and now in the evenings. And the neighbor says during the day she's not so worried, but she has become worried when she sees cars gathering here at night. And that was the case last night. Several cars were told that were gathered here, and that's when uh, shots were fired this morning. Uh, Snohomish County Sheriff's Department still looking for the shooter in this and still investigating this as well. We do have info on one of the people shot. A male is in satisfactory condition at Harborview. Still trying to get some more info on the condition of the other victim, but the church was closed at the time.